can you solve this math challenge? Here's the question. Find the value of a, b, and n given these equations n plus 20 equals a squared and n minus 21 equals b squared wherein a, b, and n are natural numbers. Now, natural numbers means also a positive integers. Now, you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. Now, suppose you pause this video. Now, let's see if you get the correct answer. All right. So to answer this question, what we're going to do is, of course, to use the given equations. We have n plus 20 equals a squared and n minus 21 equals b squared. Now, these equations are strange because we have three unknown variables, n, a, and b, and we have only two equations. But of course, this question is solvable. So to answer this question, what we're going to do is to eliminate one variable, and to do that, Take note that this n right over here, if we subtract 20 on both sides, this must be equal to a squared minus 20. And this n on the second equation, if we add 21 on both sides, we can say that this n, the second n, must be equal to b squared plus 21. Now, they are both equal to n so what we're going to do is to equate them because they are both equal to n why not so we can say that a squared minus 20 equals b squared plus 21 now from here what we're going to do is to add 20 on both sides let's have all the constant term in the right hand side of our equation and all the variable on the left side of our equation so let's subtract b squared on both sides now 20 plus 21, this will give us 41. And 41 is a good number because 41 is a prime number. Now, what is good with prime numbers? Because prime numbers have a factor of 1 and itself. So 41, we can factor this as 41 times 1. And that's the only positive factor of 41. All right, now. On the left-hand side, we have a squared minus b squared. And using the difference of two squares, we can factor this as follows. We have a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Now, we know also that this 41, again, we can factor this as 41 times 1. And a plus b must be greater than a minus b, of course, because a and b are all natural numbers. So a plus b must be greater than a minus b. So we can say that this a plus b must be equal to 41 and this a minus b must be equal to 1. Now your question, um, why not a plus b must be equal to negative 41, something like that, and the negative 1 on the other side, on the other equation, on the other factor. Now notice, if we add this two equation to eliminate the variable b, we get a value of negative 42. And on the left side, we have 2a. And notice that the variable a must be a negative number. And we don't want to have that one. Because we want a, b, and n are all natural numbers or positive integers. So, negative 41 and negative 1 is not good factors. So, let's move on and continue with the factors 41 and 1. And again, to eliminate this variable b, what we're going to do is to add these two equations. And if we do that, we get 2a equals 42 because we eliminate positive b and negative b. Now, divide both sides by 2 to get the value of a. So, a must be equal to 42 over 2. And 42 over 2 must will give us 21. Now, we have the value for a. a equals 21. And from here, we can now easily solve for the value of b because if this a is 21, 21 plus something will give us 41, so b must be equal to 20. On the second equation, if this a is 21, 21 minus something will give us 1, so definitely b must be equal to 20. All right. Now, let's get those values a and b and solve for the value of n. 
So, to solve for the value of n, we can use the first equation or the second equation. But again, using those two equations, we can get the same value for n. Alright? So, now let's check. This a becomes 21. By the way, this a becomes 21. And this b becomes 20. Like this. Now, let's check for the values of n. Let's have the first equation. What is 21 squared? 21 squared must be equal to 441. Now, subtract 20 on both sides. This will give us the value of n as 441 minus 20. And 441 minus 20 will give us 421. So, this is the value of n using the first equation. Now, how about the second equation? Of course, we get the same thing. But let's check. 20 squared, this will give us 400. This will give us 400 and add 21 on both sides. So 400 plus 21, this also give us 421. All right. So finally, we can say that n must be equal to 421. And there you go. The values of a, b, and n that satisfies these two equations must be equal to a equals 21 b equals 20, and n equals 421. Those are the values of a, b, and n that satisfies this equation. And as always, we are done.